Crook County Library and I'm going to show you how to make a star sun catcher, also known as a Waldorf star. There's only two supplies you need for this and it is kite paper, which is this special paper here. You can see the light goes through it, so it's perfect for a sun catcher. It's, um, and then you're also going to need a glue stick. So you can pick up all of these supplies in the team take and make kits at the library this week. And then our final product looks like this. This is our Waldorf star, our sun catcher, and they're beautiful when you hang them in the window. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this project. Okay, so let's make our star. So you'll wanna start with one sheet of kite paper and put it in front of you. It's already cut into a perfect square, so that's really great and very helpful. So you're gonna take your kite paper and you're gonna fold it in half. You're gonna open it up and turn it and then fold it in half again, like so. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just as close as you can get it. And then we're gonna take our paper, open it up again with the folded side up, and then fold in the triangles into the corners. This part reminds me of like a cootie catcher or fortune teller, whatever you wanna call it. But we are gonna be making sun catcher and not a cootie catcher today. All right, so get your corners folded in. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, once you have those folded in, you're gonna leave it this side up and you're gonna make sure it's in the shape of a diamond in front of you. And you're gonna fold over this. This part kind of reminds me of like a little sailboat. And you can hear how crackly um, this paper is. It's cause it's kind of got like a wax coating but not completely um, wax paper, so like so. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna fold this over. And mine's not exactly perfect, but that is okay. So you're gonna fold this down like that so you have your little point of your star. So you're gonna do that eight more times. And then once you have all your points, you're gonna put the star together. So let me show you one more time how we folded that. So fold it over open it, fold it over again, and there, like so, open it up, and triangles, like so, and I like to turn mine as I go because it's easier, and like so. And then you're gonna fold this corner over into your little sailboat shape. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side into your little sailboat shape. And voila, you have one of your star points. So now I have some that I worked on earlier. So I have all my points of my star ready. So now you're going to tape these together. Um, the points, you want the points out. And so you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna put a little glue kind of on this part down here. And then you're gonna line up the bottom of your star like so, and you're gonna glue it. And then you're gonna do that all the way around. So you're gonna do it on the other side as well. So um, I like to have it kind of the same. So I'm gonna glue this one under. So it's under, over, under, over. It doesn't really matter. It looks good either way. this part under like so and then put some glue because that one is over I'm gonna do this one under and you're gonna do that all the way around until you have your star all the way completed and just keep gluing those um, if you want, you can go back and glue all of these little tabs down once you're done to make it kind of cleaner on the back. But let me show you what the finished product looks like. So now that you have your star all glued together, you can hang it up and this is your final product. And it looks beautiful in the sun in the window. So I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. It's super fun. If you're interested in more take and make kits, visit our website at www.crooklib.org for this project and a whole bunch of others and a lot of other fun activities going on here at the library. Thank you.